Are these all the same? Yeah. Prepping the counters. They are currently pretty rough. They're wooden, I believe. Yeah, they're wooden with an existing resin or some kind of epoxy counter cover. Cover? Nope. Yep. So we have to sand it all down, all of it, before we can prime it and get it ready to turn it into something beautiful. What's up? We're gonna do all of this today. And they're still doing construction on the bar, so if you hear a lot of noise, it's not gunshots, it's a something. So don't be alarmed. This is about 88 square feet, and I hope you can hear me. But, Vertex light as the base. And this for the top. But more on that later. So, Envirotex light. We're 
doing 10 32 ounce kits. And I'm not mathing for you guys, but you can do that. all just a guesstimation because we prefer to do Thirty minutes on the clock. So we're basing it in white. We're just using this art district titanium white. And for the gold you already know. I hope it's focusing.
What'd you think, pretty girl? Nope. Just kidding. I'm not gonna do
I mean, it's... Oh, man, that's going to look good. Never mind. It's good? Yeah. Because you're going to try and almost get inside.
What'd you think, pretty girl? Nope. I just can't wait for like for it to be open. Now that it's set, I'm gonna have to sand it down a little bit just to get some tooth. So that our top coat can ew, have something to hold on to. Anything that may have landed in it. These little guys right here. Since this is a live construction zone. Trying some new stuff. This stuff's supposed to be able to get up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit or 260 Celsius. I'm pretty sure I remember that right. I don't know. But the key thing that, I mean, it's a one-to-one, -one, but what it says to make sure of is that you mix the hardener in first. So hardener, resin, we're doing we're starting out with 96 ounces. We're probably gonna need more, obviously, but we're just starting out there. Can't see it. You have to move your light. It says to mix it for three minutes, but I'm pretty sure that means hand mixing. Anyways, we're not taking any chances. We're gonna mix it for a while, and then we're gonna scrape the edges and the bottom and everything, all the things we're scraping. You can see it getting clear. Yeah. That's one of the keys of the two-part resin is when it starts to get clear, it's beginning to mix thoroughly, but we're not taking any chances. the edges. Okay, let me get the bottom. What is that? See all those little bubbles? We'll take care of those little guys later with the heat. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. You're at two minutes. You know, this is really not odory. Like, Envirotex has low to no odor, but this is like 0% smelly. Well, we are in an open area, more open. Huh? We are in a little bit more open area. Well, like, um...
the box says it's like one of the most like environmentally friendly, I mean, epoxies out there. Come back this way, yeah. Then I know that. One of the keys with working a lot of resin at one time is that you want to get it out of whatever mixing container you have as quickly as possible. When it's in a confined space, it's going to heat up quicker and give you less working time. So the quicker you can get it onto your surface, the better. Notice he's not pushing the resin over to his side very, like right now, because we heated the resin up, so it's fairly thin. Really, really thin. So if you push it all the way to the side right now, it would fall off, like this is. Do you want me to take that? Yeah. Top coat is done. Now we just have to wait. It's rainy outside, but it's a nice sunny 75 in here or hotter. So now Jeff or Thornton, I know there's confusion there. Sorry, I call him Jeff. Everybody in the world calls him Thornton. Is scraping the bottom edge so that there's no drippy drips. Mmm. Those bar tops come a long way. But she's gorgeous now. Yeah, that's what I'm